this New York Fashion Week is a little bit different. It's the 20th anniversary since I launched the shirt. It was an ode to the city. And so after 20 years, we decided to reimagine it, remodernize. It's also the rebirth of my morning after bag and uh, just really celebrate everything that is beautiful and gorgeous about New York City. Working with Rebecca, again, is it's an amazing experience. She's such an incredible partner and we've really created an end-to-end -end experience for Rebecca and her collection at New York Fashion Week. So taking from the capture of the NFTs here at uh, the Yahoo Studios, placing them in an immersive gallery that we can uh, traverse uh, on our site and both web and mobile. Not only that, do you get to experience and, and, and bid on those NFTs, you actually get to view these NFTs in AR and augmented reality in your space. I think that as we saw the progression of designers and artists immersing themselves into the NFT world, we thought it'd be incredible to collaborate with a world-renowned photographer, with a tech innovation partner like Yahoo, to be able to sort of take this into a new dimension. I think for us it's so rooted organically in our origin story. We want to continue to push boundaries as often as we can to see where we think fashion is going. There's going to be a world one day where the avatar that you dress with the merchandise will also arrive on your front door and I think as those worlds begin to collide it's really fascinating to explore it. What's really cool is this is a real love letter to New York and uh, we really leaned into that and taking both you know, elements of her store in Soho and all around the boroughs and the neighborhoods and, and, and bringing that to life in AR in a unique, interesting way. Yahoo have been incredible. They have come above and beyond in terms of giving us an immersive experience, which is great because we always have loved our consumer to be part of our Fashion Week experiences and now she can literally move her phone around and be in the environment that we've created.